All right, you always hear people talking about leveling the bed on our fancy little printers. And what that means, I'm sure most of you know, but it means you take the nozzle here, I don't know if you can see it under there, um, and you make sure no matter where it lands on the bed, it's the same distance off this bed. The thing is, is a lot of people are getting very leaning um, bed alignments from the screws to the carriage bed because they're not squaring the x-axis to the y-axis and it's actually rather easy to do and will make leveling your bed not only easier but better now it's a simple tool that's it there's a guy on Thingiverse that designed this this is the one he originally designed this is his original design I redesigned it, and the only thing I really did was make it taller. This is not my design. This is his. I'll put a link in the video um, to his design. I'll also put a link in the video to mine. Again, mine is just taller because I found when I added the glass plate, this didn't quite reach. Now, it's a very simple tool to use. All you're actually doing, and I'm going to do it here first, is placing this tool on here on your y-axis you have a loop here you have a ledge here you set it on you measure to the X make sure they're both the same basically you just slide it on like this make sure it slides underneath feel the resistance go to the other side if you don't drop it this is a little difficult with the camera in my way but it can be done Go to the other side, do the same thing, make sure it's the same distance, and that's it. Now mine's already been leveled, but if it was out, what you need to do is turn the power off. Now I want my light to stay on, so i got to unplug everything instead of just turning the power off. But you need to turn the power to the printer off, and you need to pull any USB connections. You want that LCD screen to go blank. I unplugged the wrong thing. Unplugged the light, which I wanted to leave on. There we go. Lights on, LCD's blank. Now, if it wasn't level, you have to pull at least one of these plugs because if you move the one side of this or the other on its own, the other one, there's enough generation. These act like generators as much as they are motors generate enough energy to actually move the other one on the other side often not always depends on how your motherboard set up blah blah but if you unplug one of them you're all set now if it was out okay if it was out say this one was out like this okay you slide this under here it doesn't I can't get it under slide it under here I got a little, little tight resistance, so I need to know I need to lift this side. All you do is turn it, and I always do this backwards from what I need to do. See, I did it again. You've been thinking about it, I did it backwards. And you just slide it under, and raise it up until it slides under. And I go the wrong way. I always go the wrong way. I don't know why. But you want to feel a little resistance. If you listen, you can hear it. But you don't want so much that you're bowing your rods. And then you just check the other side with this tool. And again, I'm having difficulties because I'm leaning over my camera. Now that's hitting, but it's actually looser now on this side. And what it is, is because you're pivoting here, and the rods are in here, as I raise this one, this one raises with it a little bit. So you need to, you know, keep adjusting them until you get them even. And this one, that's about good. And you just keep doing it. That's a little loose. So I need to bring it down just a hair. And of course I'm going the wrong way. And it's pretty good. 
Then all you do is plug your motor back in, power this thing up, which I actually have to plug in now. And now you can level your bed. And when you level your bed now, having your x-axis and your y-axis square to each other, it's going to be a much more accurate bed leveling. You're going to be level across here. Your spring weights are all going to be the same. Um, excuse me, spring pressures are all going to be the same. That's the other thing is people don't realize is you tighten this, the spring collapses. You'll get a corner that's stronger than the other. And this actually, even the slightest weight, I've literally found that dropping you know my screwdriver on here when I'm adjusting this just the weight of this thing will pitch it out when I go to check it so having these spring weights even all the way around just the way especially if you're doing a bigger project the pressure the weight of the actual plastic of the model you're building can actually change these the, the height of this so you want it as even as possible um, always try and print in the middle of the platform if you can because otherwise it can and it, it's minute but especially with your first layer this is very important so yeah square up your printer before leveling your bed and your bed leveling process will become much easier